Okay. Welcome back, everyone, to more Suikoden. Last time, a lot happened. Not only did we finish off the second of the great Imperial Generals, Milch Oppenheimer, but we realized that he, like Quanda Wasman, was, in fact, being controlled by the black wound that Windy gave him. So after getting him to join up with us, the Empire decided to strike back at us, finally viewing us as a threat, and it was led by none other than our father. Forced to take him on in the duel to the death, we, we lost the life of our father, and with it, we gained a new power to our womb, the Soul Eater. But with the defeat of three of the great Imperial Generals, rebellions started to take place throughout the Empire, and seeing to take advantage of that, we decided to help out the local rebellions by getting them to join our forces, starting off with the Warrior's Village. Unfortunately, the Warrior's Village had been assaulted by Necklord, an evil va runic vampire that were kidnapping maidens to make them his bride. He happened to kidnap one late young woman by the name of Tengar. And despite our best efforts, we were unable to d even touch him. So that is why, now, we went to the Quan Temple in search of a, some way, some weakness that we can use to defeat Necklord. That's what we're going to be doing, but, um... Uh, sorry, Kasumi. Love you, girl, but uh, we gotta bring Flick in. Well, I want to, anyway. Maybe we can bring him in some other time. I don't know. <laughs> okay. There you are, Flick, old buddy, old pal. Here you go. He should be in the front. That's what Kasumi was. Never mind, look, just went there. Okay. This is gonna be our party for the foreseeable for the next section of the game. It's not very original, huh? But I felt like we just had a big flick. To the basement. Now let's go back to the temple, because that was where we found that. Cave to the past, which supposedly will hold the secret to the feeding neck lord. Let's hope that's the case. <clears throat> Red Elemental Banshee, okay. Right from the get go, we're finding a lot of enemies. It's just a hate room, right? The shredding, healing wind, wind of sleep, storm. Mm. Just a fan for now. I want to use some random encounters. Ouch! He hits everyone. Okay, he's been silenced. I forgot that was even a status condition in this game. Please don't tell me that carries off after battle. Well, that was four levels for Victor, jeez. Okay. Oh my god. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. We just gained like four levels from that. We were kind of underleveled, huh? Interesting. Mm, now that we're level 40, there's something we can do, but uh, I'll just, um... We'll see. I'm sure I'll remember. But basically, now that we're level 40, there's someone we can recruit now. I'll try to remember that. There we go.
Lots of experience here, geez. Save point here, thankfully. Alright. We just went four levels from a single fight, geez. Is I really that under leveled? Maybe a little bit. Oh, this will be. This is free. <laughs> oh, you poor little golem. <laughs> we one shot him. Really? <laughs> All right. Just to get lots of money. Crimson Cape. Let me give that to. That's a lot of defense. Boots. Bonnie doesn't really have anything, so let's give it to her. Who knows, that plus three defense could come in clutch, you never know. <laughs> okay, next up. Oh, good, more of these things. Still not high enough level to run away from them, besides the four levels we just gained. It's fine. Feels like a bit of a waste to just have a look at me doing nothing. In case we went into a boss or something, but I don't know. I think there is a boss in this place, actually. I don't remember there being one. Uh, we could just use. We could probably just use Luke's spells then if there's not a boss. Okay, this way. Two treasure chests. There's a lot of treasure in this area. You want to make sure you get all of it because some of it's pretty important. Nice one, Flick. And with a flick of her wrist, Cleo finishes off the last one. Okay. Medicine. And flowing crystal. That is... Flowing crystal can be used. Thank you, game. That is so helpful. What a nice description. I think that's the upgraded water wound, actually. I... Uh, just free will this. Yeah, it's an upgraded water wound, which I could just give that to Cleo, but like, I don't want to go all the way back. Oh yeah, I exchanged Cleo's Fire Wound for a Water Wound off stream because I wanted more healing options. I guess Luke has Healing Wind, but still. Never hurts to have more... Uh... More healing available to you. It just keeps giving us like one singular enemy. Okay, secret passage here. You go through. Hey, Jared, you didn't meet, meet, miss much. We're just um going through the new dungeon that we got to at the end of the last stream. But actually, there are some things I should show off now that people are come, starting to show show up. Also, we gained like four levels from one fight in this place, so apparently I was underleveled. Who would have thought? Okay, so, th so I should show this off first, but um... Not that. <laughs> okay, flash attack. This is with Kai, Leo Khan, and Fukian. Fukian. Bald, bald, bald. Incredible. Is 
So that's their Unite attack. Also, here's another one that can show off. The Pretty Boy attack. With Flick, Allen, and Gwen Seal. Red, blue, green. Nice hat, Victor. <laughs> All right. Next one we can show off is the beat em up attack. It does a lot of damage to one enemy, but leaves Pawn unbalanced. And finally, the pirate attack. It again just hits one enemy. You have to use the three pirates on this. So there you go, there's uh, some more United attacks. Window Crystal. Ooh, interesting. We have a ton of treasure in here, and some of it's very important, so make sure you scour this dungeon very importantly. Also, remind me to recruit someone as soon as we finish this dungeon, now that we're level 40. Couple that have only unbalanced one person, I believe. Yes, we can get Mr. Fourth Wall now, but I want to beat this dungeon first. So far, so good. Enemies haven't been too much trouble. Old Book Volume 2. Okay. More of these elementals. We can just use the shredding, I suppose. Because I don't think there's a boss of this area. So it should be fine. Oh, Wani's almost dead. Another trails book found. Speed wound piece. Okay, that's a really rare drop. It's like less than 1%. It's just a stat booster. You can grind for those if you want. There's really no need to, though, unless you like like having characters that are like max level. It's a bit, it's a bit overkill, but... Okay, here is... Five thousand. I haven't played any of the Trails of games. From what I understand the way people talk about it, they're either the greatest thing ever, or they're just completely and utterly deranged. But I guess that applies to a lot of things, huh? Three thousand bits. Escape talisman, that's nice. The Cold Steel games especially, I don't know. People say I'll have a lot to say about that, I guess. Oh hey, look, another secret passage. Oh, we can let these guys go now. Bits. Uh, hi! Oh ho, you found me. I don't think anyone would come here. Recruit me? Perhaps when the castle is a little bigger, I'll consider it. So some people require your castle to be of a certain level. 
Unfortunately, we can't recruit this guy. He's... Which is a shame, because he's really, really good. Oh, <laughs> uh, Yep. He's in the middle of nowhere, which is the worst, right? Oh. We can't let these guys go yet, I guess. There we go. That's a good question, actually. Maybe he heard news through the grapevine, you know. I don't know how, because he lives in a cave, I guess. War scroll, that's important. Another important item you want to make sure you get here. I can just free will this. There we go. 3,000 bits. Just let go. Go in this cave right here, and we get two more treasures. Medicine and silver lead. This dungeon's gone a bit faster than I thought it would, thankfully. Okay, get out of here. Yes, we found both of the major items. The window crystal and the war scroll are both items that we need. Ah, uh, the books are important too, I guess. But the book is technically optional. The old book. I believe it is. 3,000 bits. Skill wound piece. And mega medicine. Seize on yourself. Get out of here. Okay. Think once we get to here. This must be what the old man warned us about. Don't get too close to it. No problem, don't worry. He who awakens me, be cursed! What? Oh. That's not good. Ah! What is this place? Who knows, it looks like we got thrown out of the cave, thanks to you-know-who. Hey, we made it alive, didn't we? Let it go! So there are a couple of treasures here, nothing required, but you want to make sure you get them because you can only come to this place once. Ted, are you the people who came to take away the treasure? What treasure? Good, I didn't think so. Grandpa looked really angry, so I was worried. Ted, come here. Yes, Grandpa. Master Turd, did he say Ted? He did remind me of Ted. What's going on? Are you Wendy? Do I look like a Wendy? <laughs> mm. 
We can't give you what we've been practicing for so many years. I guess the... Well, the cave that we went into was called the Cave of the Past. What are you looking at? That isn't good. This treasure chest is... Why did you come here? To this village of the Hidden Wound. What's wrong? Is there something on my face? Were you people sent by that woman? What woman? Messages? What are you talking about? So you have nothing to do with her? With who? If you don't, you must leave this place immediately. Come, Ted. Wait, Grandpa. I want to talk to these pe people. Come with me. She grabbed this. Mega medicine. What's wrong? Now let's talk to her. Are you still here? We don't want strangers here. What are you so afraid of? Are you afraid of that woman you mentioned? That woman? Rather a rude way to speak of someone, don't you think? Wendy, what are you doing in this place? Damn you, neck lord. How dare you come here? By the way, Cleo, what is this place? <laughs> Victor, who cares? What's your business here, Wendy? Village Chief, I come all the way out here because you refuse to give me the rune. You should thank me for making an effort. Now give me the Soul Eater. I've never heard of such a thing. Don't bother to lie to me. I happen to know that this is the village of the Hidden Rune. Hey, Cleo, let's remember that. The village of the Hidden Rune. Village of the Hidden Rune. A boy named Ted. Did you see that, Chief? While you were in denial, Uber got bored. Give me the rune or else this village will be charred beyond recognition. Damn you. Are you that eager to see the cursed power of the soul leader? Oh, now we got our Uber guy to deal with. Jeez, how many of these guys are we? How many of these crazy people are they? Oh, soul leader, cursed rune, show your power and strike the enemy. Everyone loves using fire in this game. And we didn't go far, did we? Travelers, I'm sorry to have involved you in my business. No kidding. Ted, come here. Yes, Grandpa. Give me your right hand, that's right. Stay still, Ted. Oh, soul eater, wound of life and death, depart my body and give this boy your power. Oh, he's transferring it to him. Um... Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Grandpa, what's this? Forgive me, Ted. I'm afraid I passed on a sorrowful fate upon you. Remember that the power of this moon must never be unleashed. Travelers, up ahead there's a secret path which leads to the village's outskirts. Take Ted, this child, and run. I shall get Wendy's attention and act as a decoy. Let's go, Ted. Y okay, Grandpa, you'll come later? That's right, you must hurry now. Oh boy. The whole place is charged with... Oh, I missed something. Lady Wendy sure is a warrior. Instead of beating him on the bush, why didn't you just burn this village? I just follow my orders and stand on guard, and look who's coming. Just a child and some cowards. What did you say? Keep your distance from him, Victor. This one's tough. Yes, I know. He's not human. Even at this distance, I can feel his terrible power. So you understand my power. Well, then, don't bother to struggle against my sword. There's a- we missed a treasure chest. We might be able to still go back for it, I'm not sure. I'll chop you all into little pieces, making sure you feel no pain. Damn. Hey, Uber. Lady Windy wants you. The old man escaped into the forest. 
Next Lord, you again? I'm very busy right now. I'll take you on some other time. Looks like we're safe. Yeah, and the fire of the village is dying down too, but I don't know what happened to the villagers. What happened to Grandpa? Tad, I'm afraid you're going to have to depend on yourself now. Do you understand? Master Tur, this boy is definitely the Ted we knew. He, we must be in the past. The past? Star Dragon Sword's curse threw us back into the past? Probably. What just happened was the incident from 300 years ago that Ted mentioned. And from this moment on, Ted must journey alone for 300 years. In any case, we must find a way to return to the present. You're right. Hey, Tur, what's this light? Isn't that where we first came out? I agree, let's go back to that place. Before that... Uh, that lady is uh, definitely gone. Well, she won't be needing this. Champion's Crystal! We could have bought this for like 200,000 gold and like bits in the warrior's village, but don't do that because you get one for free. Basically, this nullif makes it so you don't get into random encounters with enemies that are weaker than you. It's not the most helpful thing in the world, especially because you could just let them go, but I mean, I guess it does save a little bit of time. Also, go here, another boar crystal. If we enter here, there, we can return to the present. Could be. This, that's a pretty good idea coming from you. Oh, leave me alone. Tush, what should we do with the kid? We can't take him along. Ted, you're going to have to live on your own for a very long time. And at the end of your voyage, I suppose it would be wrong to change his fate. You're leaving me? What should I do? Please take me with you. Ted, you must be strong. Never give up. And don't tell anybody about the room on your right hand. Okay. We better get going. We don't know when this light will fade. Goodbye. Kinda sucks we have to leave him, but you know, it's necessary. Boy, were we lucky. I guess we made it back. This thing again. Stay clear of it, everyone. We don't want to get go through that again. Listen to Mr. Expert. You got us into the mess in the first place. Victor. Uh, I didn't do anything. Victor, don't you have an important mission? That's right. I'm going to kill that neck lord. I was just getting tired of sleeping. I'll join you on your mission. Pull me out. What's with this? What's with this thing? Pretty arrogant for a sword. If you don't want to, fine. But you'll never defeat the vampire. Okay, okay. Okay. I mean, yes, sir. Let's go, partner. Why should a sword call me partner? And with that, Victor's weapon changes to the king dra to the dragon sword. Um, he gets a new weapon. Um, all the sharpening you did carries over, so it'll still be the same level. Also, it's like one of the best weapons in the game. Like its stats are pretty ridiculous. I think it like, might actually be the best weapon in the game stat-wise, anyway. Maybe. Anyway, escape talisman. I mean, it better be good. We went through this whole dang cave just to get to it. But, now we've done that. Well, we found a war scroll in that cave. Give it to this guy. That's it. That's the war scroll I was looking for. Thank God it's been found. I must repay you with something. Let me see. Are you the Liberation Army? I see. Okay, I've decided. I'll join up. I'm Hugo the Librarian. Yeah, we'll get him pretty soon. Maybe it's locked.
Hello, Thomas. Welcome to the stream. Alright. Let's go back to... I'm doing pretty good. Things have been going pretty smoothly. This playthrough. <laughs> okay. Next we want to go to... I think it's Tien? Yeah. Alright. So we go over to the docks. We're finally high enough level to recruit this dude. I'm K. Okay, I'm a martial arts master. I have respect only for the strong. Are you strong? Oh, you are indeed. I cannot do my strength. I was w waiting for someone like you. Let me join the Liberation Army. Sure thing. Thanks. K joins. Alright, there's one last person we can recruit. Go back. This time I'm gonna go and teleport to the warrior's village, because that's where plop is. And also if we head to the item shop, we see the most guy with the best name ever, most imaginative name ever, window. Say big brother, got anything good? I can tell, you know. You have something that's very precious to me, the window wound. Please, can I have it? In return, I'll join the Liberation Army. Sure. Thank you. With this, I can become a good stained glass window maker. Window joins! Hey, everyone. Oh, Commander 2, you're back! How did it go? Have you found a way to defeat Necklord? You betcha, take a look at this. Here, say hello. Watch your tongue. Say hello to a human. You say hello. A talking sword? Will this thing defeat the vampire? Of course, vampires are nothing to me. So he says. They are very much alike, those two. Overconfident. That's wonderful. We were just about to depart for Necklord's castle. Look at what that demon sent us. Wedding? Invitation? Whose? He and Tengars. If we don't hurry, Tengar will be drained of blood. Chief, we're ready to go. Fine, let's go. Commander Tyr, we'll be going ahead of you. Yeah, uh, good luck. <laughs> what about you? I can't go. I'm still a novice. And I'm not allowed to go to war. Before we do that, uh, yeah. Before we do that, though, I think we need to show off some new things at the base with some of our new recruits. So we're gonna be showing it off real quick. I'm sure it'll be fine if we just give him a little bit of head start. Maybe they can uh, soften up the generic enemies. I have no idea what like any of these window or um, Hugo are, so bear with me for a minute. <laughs> Fine, thanks. Alright, so... Window setting... Window setting... Old book... We can finally do something with all these. Oh my god, we just have enough... 
just enough space. Let's go find those two. This is weird. Control is acting up for a minute. They're probably on the upper floors if I had to guess. I think Hugo's at least on the upper floor. Yeah, here he is. Hi there, buddy. Looking for something? Okay, as you can see, the books we had are automatically deposited. Um, I'm not gonna read these yet. I'll probably just wait until we get all of them. But I just wanted to deposit them to, you know... Because I don't want to keep lugging them around in storage. And also, I need to find where the heck window is. Might be like near melody, maybe. Mm, take a minute to find him because he does have an interesting uh, feature that we can show off. So I want to show off like all the little things in this game. So we're going to do that. Okay, we go here. It's nice to see everyone gathered around, I suppose. I should have put the holy crystal on someone. Okay. Yeah, he is here. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so if we talk to him... Um, ah, uh, oh yes, Master Two, was it? what can I do for you? Change window! So we can make it roses, we can make it this... Uh... Let's go purple. There we go, roses and purple. That's our new window. That's his function. Now, doesn't it look fancy? It's a bit inconvenient to get to him, but you know. <laughs> I'll probably show it off again once we get like all the window options, but you know, just help to show that for right now. few streams are probably going to be showing off a lot of uh, bonus features. I might just read all the books in the last stream too before we go into the finale. But then that's a bit of a ways off. We still have a good bit of game left, I think. Like super much. We're definitely past the halfway point, I'll tell you that much. Maybe even past two thirds, honestly. Yeah, probably. No, the castle did not. I don't think the castle got bigger. I, I'll know. I can remember when the castle gets bigger. It'll be a little bit longer. It takes a while to get the last castle upgrade. Okay. That glows castle. Oh, hey, they're here. And they're not dead. Good job. So here you are, Command Tier. Let's go, men. Now is the time to show the power of the warrior's village. Yay! Oh. <laughs> my, my. How rude of you to show up to a wedding with all these weapons. 
Give me back my daughter, my Tengar! I'm afraid not. She's my beloved bride. When the sun sets, our wedding begins. Tyr, you're the leader of the Liberation Army, correct? I'd like you to become my most honored guest tonight. If you don't make it to the top of the castle by sunset, Tengar will be mine forever. Understood? This gate will not admit the uninvited. Damn you! Do not make fools of us! Stop! God! It appears that what Necklord says is true. Master Tyr, this is a trap. He knows you're our leader. But we have no choice but to go. Commander Tyr, I beg you, please save my daughter from that filthy vampire, please! Wait a minute! Master Tyr, take me with you. I'll go too. You can't go, Hicks. You have not yet proven yourself as a warrior. An unproven warrior, one who does not yet carry a sword with a name, is not allowed to enter battle. That is the law of our village. It's true that I'm still a novice, and not yet strong, but still, I want to save Tengar with my own hands. I promised her. Please let me keep my promise. Please, Master Tyr. I mean, he probably will be in the way a bit, but yeah, all right, come along. T thank you. Hicks, come here. Yes, sir. I was waiting for such words from you. You are Hicks of the Warrior's Village, son of Clift the Crusader. I hereby accept you as a true warrior and grant permission to name your sword. May the birth of this new warrior be celebrated by all. Here, Hicks, you have now been de designated a warrior. Your courage befits a true warrior. Go and save Tenkar. Thank you, Sir Zohak. You may now name your sword. Have you something in mind? Yes, I made that decision many years ago. Let's go, Hicks. Tengar awaits you. Yes, sir. So, Hinzi's joined the party. We gotta get with someone. Uh, sorry, Ronnie. Okay, so first things first, we go through here. Uh, hi. You, you, you wanna hear something interesting? Sure thing. You, you, but not for free. Oh my goodness, what do you want? Oh uh, yeah, basically this guy just gives you hints for the dungeon, depending on how much uh, gold you pay, but I mean like... If you're using a guy, you don't need to do that. 100. Is that all? Well, okay then. The turn when Master Leckworth always tells us, even in the forest, not just at night, doing your work, praise the king. Okay. So, full helmet. Anyone can use it? Hicks can use it. Now, there you go. And if we go through here, you might have noticed that there are a bunch of enemies that want to kill us. Okay, no. You didn't miss much. We just found a guy that, um, that if you pay him a bunch of money, he'll tell you some hints about the dungeon. But, um, I forgot to put him in the front row. But, uh, if you're following a guide or something, or if you know what you're doing, then you don't really need to pay him any money. There we go. Hicks just gained four levels from that, nice. And speaking of Hicks, um, this might be a little predictable, but it's still sweet. If we look at what Hicks's weapon is, it's Tangar. Uh, no, I don't think there's an actual time limit. I think you can just take as much time as you want. Hmm. 
More hell, unicorn. I need to change his formation. He's still in the back. He's got to be careful. You never know when the game might pull another curveball on you like that. Demon Sorcerer! Just one guy, though. Not too bad. By the way... If you're interested, there's a the Hell Unicorn drops a pretty decent, um, a pretty decent piece of equipment called the Star Earrings. It's not like the greatest thing in the world, but it gives you like a slight regen effect, and by slight I mean slight. It's like five HP per turn or something. Not that amazing, but like it's still pretty decent armor accessory. So you know, something to look out for, I guess. Antitoxin. Yeah, 5 HP is most certainly not enough. Maybe it is 5%. Maybe it might be 5%. Because 5. Actually, you know, it might be 5%. I can just check that real quick. It's. No, yeah, it's just flat out 5 HP. That's garbage. <laughs> but, you know, it's... It's an... <laughs> but, you know... Yeah, it's called the Star Earrings, and they just give eight, 5 HP per turn. But it's like 8 defense, too, so it's like, if you have nothing else to give someone, you know? Here. Sound setting one. Okay, good. <laughs> well, interesting. One character you get automatically starts with star earrings. Aline does. Who we got a while ago with Lapont. So, <laughs> like, you wouldn't have to worry about that then, because Aline comes with the star earrings. I don't think you can remove them from her either. Yeah, you can't. I remember that. Okay. It's now a puzzle. Okay. One moment. I need to. Rem I need to take a moment to remember what you do here. <laughs> I know I have an idea of what you need to do, but I just want to double check. I have an idea what you do. Yeah.
Okay, so... What you do is... You went into a wild encounter and kill it. Okay. Let's go down the stairs and... go through here, we see pictures of four paintings, and we need to examine them in the correct order, I believe. Okay, so... No, don't take a look. Don't. So it's chestnut, the tree... Girl in the early afternoon... Peasant girl. So basically, the the guy the guy the hint is even in the hint that the the guy will give us the zombie dude in the beginning of the dungeon. He said even in the forest, not just the night, doing your work, praise your king. And there we go. Basically, that zombie die just gives you a hint on what to, how to do this. There are going to be other puzzles that are going to be really annoying to deal with, but we'll get through them. I have a general idea of how to do the other ones. That was the one. That was the, that's the one puzzle I can never quite remember how to do it. I think I remember. Earth boots. That's... That's pretty good equipment, I believe. Yeah, team defense. Sure, Hicks, why don't you do it? Now he's wearing two pairs of boots. Oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. Uh... Storm. Actually, hell. Would this work on the undead enemies? We'll see. Perfect! And a pot. Oh, not that door. This one. We get... Green paint! There we go. Encounters. Okay, well, oh, we can just let them go now. Sure. I don't want to fight that many enemies. I mean, I could just, I could have just used hell again. I probably would have dealt with them pretty easily, but yeah. You know. Earth wound piece. Okay, if there's only two, I can beat them up. I just don't want to deal with like five enemies at once. Oh, good. Wind crystal. <laughs> oh, I'm out of inventory space. Uh, mm, 
Wow, even you, Hicks? Get rid of the half helmet. Oh boy! Oh, I like the effect here. It's showing that it's getting close to... It's showing time... It's getting close. Night's about to fall. Magic wound piece, might as well. Oh my god. Anti toxin, we're never gonna need that. Magic increased. Cape of Darkness! Oh my god. Alright, Hicks. You can use these equipment. Good for you. You're getting all these nice equipment. Because we don't want you to die. Maybe I shouldn't have dropped the antitoxin because I know Necklo can poison you. Oh, hey, Tengar. Nice dress. Uh, should probably get you out of here, though. Oh. He's even playing an organ. Of course he is. Uh, all right, you Ganon wannabe. You sure took your time. Tengar, I've come to save you! Hicks, you've come. I'm so happy. Now wait a minute. You speak as if I'm going to lose. That's right, Necklord. You're going to die here. Damn you to hell, Necklord. You remember the village of Northwind? Hmm, let me see. I've been around such a long time. Come to think of it, you do look somewhat familiar. Perhaps I've seen you at... What was that village? But Northwind doesn't ring a bell. I'll make sure you never waste your breath again. Here we go, Star Dragon. One or two vampires like this are one are easy work. In the name of my sword, Tengar, I'll destroy you, Necklord. Hicks! Goodness, how courageous. Tyr, I'm going to have to take your wound and present it to Lady Windy. Here is Necklord! He is actually kind of tough! <laughs> First off, you can't even damage him until you hit him with Victor. So just kind of defend. Now, Necklord resists a lot of stuff. He resists this fire, water, lightning, and earth. So m most magic is not that effective against him. That said... Wind works just as well. And also, if you manage to get a Resurrection Wound, or bought Fuiken here, Light Damage actually does do good damage to him. And surprisingly, he's not... doesn't resist Dark. The 
Yeah, he Leclo hits like a truck, so you gotta be careful. He can easily mess you up if you're not prepared. Definitely one of the harder bosses of the game. Especially because you're forced to use X. Let's see how much Raging Blow does. See, it does more than his regular attack. Uh, the Shredding again. More Black Shadow. Uh, that's like a status condition. It'll damage him a bit every turn after he does an action. It's pretty similar to Po- I think it's just Poison. Necklo can just do that to you. Thankfully, Necklord is pretty slow, so usually everyone will get to move before he does. So far, so good. Just use all, all of our black shadows on him. Thankfully, Water Wound can heal the status condition, as well. So we can just have Cleo heal everyone up and get rid of their status conditions at the same time. Use our last Black Shadow on him. Oh, I'm just using the clone wound with Victor. That's why he's getting unbalanced. The clone wound is basically the same as boar wound, but with swords, with swordsman instead. A lot of shredding. So let's go to storm. Uh, black shadows are just regular attack. There we go. Nice look. Yeah, thankfully he does not resist wind. That's like the one element aside from dark and light that he doesn't resist. He resists, yeah, resisting fire, earth, lightning, and water is a bit much. Oh my god. He really does not like flick. That's fine as long as he just keeps tar single targeting him. We just keep healing him. Just keep storming. After this, I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with Look. Can't do much else. He can just use Weathersons, I suppose. And Cleo can attack instead. Still a solid 300 damage. Oh, yeah, he can use wind, too. Water kindness. Uh, just defend, look. You can't really do much else. Because Cleo's going to be healing. Oh, nice, a crit. And he's done. Oh, and we get a healing in. Okay. 
your sword. I am the Night Wound transformed. You are merely a servant of the darkness and therefore fight me in vain. I have lived for 500 years. Damned if my life ends now. 500 years of evil deeds. This is where my journey ends. You killed my family and friends and I traveled far looking for you. Now it's time for revenge. Hex! Tengar! You've come to save me. Thank you. I'm so happy. B -b but I haven't done anything, and Victor defeated Necklord. You're so funny. It's okay. You're still my hero. Thanks. By the way, the name of your sword... Oh, this... Sorry, I should have asked for your permission. Really? Using my name without asking? S sorry do you apologize? Huh? You've got plenty of headaches ahead of you, Hicks. Let's get back to it. The journey has ended, but not- My journey has ended, but not yours. <laughs> now, there's actually a hidden chest here. It's very hard to get, but if we- Go away! We've killed your master. Get out of here. It's a little difficult to get to. If we squeeze in here. Oh, wait, I know what it is. It's. Yeah, it's hidden by the glass. It's so hard to see. This is so rude. You can just barely make out the chest here behind the stained glass. It's a Rage Crystal, which is basically an upgraded Fire Rune. God damn it. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to give it up on it! Fine. That's not the only one in the game, is there? I think that's the only one in the game. Well, whatever. It's not that important. I don't think there's another one in the game. Uh, I can just check. There is, but it's a rare drop. Whatever. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah, you're right. It does do that. Oh, my God. Thank you. I forgot. That's what it does do that. Oh, thank goodness they thought of that. <laughs> thank you, developers. Let's get the hell out of here. Everyone thank the developers for thinking of dummies like me. I could have sworn they had an escape tile, and it was probably on the line, wasn't it? Alright, guess we're taking the scenic route out. Whatever. Oh wait. Actually, escape talismans don't even work in this place. That's right. I forgot they don't. <laughs> Some dumb reason. I think it's because when you ex there's a cutscene when you exit the castle. That'd probably be why. Did pay him like a hundred just to show it off, but only that much. 
Just free will it, I guess. I suppose. More money is always appreciated, even if we can just use Gasper. Really, buddy? I wonder if they even get paychecks. Probably not. <laughs> Necklord's Castle. Tengar, are you alright? Sure, thanks to Hicks. I am very grateful, Master Tyr. We of the Warriors Village hereby swear to serve the Liberation Army and obey your commands. Please let us know if you need our help. One has to wonder why a zombie even needs money in the first place. <laughs> Necklo is defeated and the Warriors Village has joined our cause. Master Tyr, it's about time you return to Odessa Castle. Tyr, I mean Master Tyr. I tackled and tracked Necklo for many years and I finally got my revenge. I must go to my village now and deliver the news, but I promise to return to the Liberation Army. So please permit me to leave for the time being. Alright, come back soon. Without you, Victor, the Liberation Army is under a huge handicap. I know, you're all hopeless without me. Don't worry, I'll fill in for him. W what Wait a minute, Tengar! No, Hicks, I've already made up my mind. Besides, you're coming too. M me too? Of course, if you don't protect me, who will? S sure, but... Go with her, Hicks. You in Initiation is over with, but not your way of passage into adulthood. Besides, Tengo has made up her mind, and I can't stop her. Will you protect her? Yes, sir. And Tengo joins! I'm going now, too, but I'll be back. Take care. She joins again, this time at the party. She starts at level 42, it's pretty nice. Alas, yuck. Hicks, ten guys' life is in your hands. The enemy, yuck. At Why are you all saying that? And we sing, yuck. This song, yuck. A victory, yuck. What the ta 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 what ta 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 yuck. It's destroyed, yuck yuck yuck. Alright, whatever. <laughs> you guys have fun with it. Back to the castle. Oh, we have so much to deposit. It's their victory song, I guess. Now then, if we've gotten everything right, recruited absolutely everyone we can at this point, then when we go back, we should... There we go, there's the next level. We got a little flag.
Yes, we can in fact get him now. All right, so let's go to the floor. Sanchez, where the hell are you? get them right now then. I was gonna change out my party, but this is fine. I should probably, actually, I should probably deposit some stuff to the rock. Fine, thanks. <sighs> I should probably get the sound setting. Whatever, we'll do that later. Fire. Or Earth Wind Peace. Green paint. Silver let. Actually. Hold on a minute. Yeah, drop means deposit. See, it's all right here. Maybe we should go to the Rune Master and give like a champion's room to someone. That'd be actually probably, yeah. Uh... I'm gonna upgrade Tangard and Hicks' stuff. We got a lot of money. Shining knife. We don't have a lot of money anymore. I shouldn't. <laughs> Tango plus plus. Nah, because I can just, yeah, I can just use gas, but there's no real reason to grind it out if I don't have to. First floor now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach a rune. Work. Hi. I uh, give that to Hicks. Well, we've had money troubles quite often, so it's not that bad. Stay and rest. So now with the champion's crystals, things will be a lot go a lot smoother. Level forty-seven. It again.
I also forgot to appraise some stuff, but we can do that when we get back. Should we do it now? Yeah, whatever. Let's do it now. I don't care. <laughs> He's only on the first floor, right? God, I really wish I had Stallion in my party. Chinese dish. Failure urn. Very cool. So our first order of business is to go to Recon. The character we want to recruit only shows up there if we have a level 4 headquarters, which we have just gotten. So... Been a while since we've been here. Okay, no one's here. It's random whether they actually show up or not. So you just have to keep exiting, leaving. Just a little silly. We should have 90 people recruited at this point, I believe. Because that's the requirement you need to do to get to level 4 headquarters. You need 90 people recruited. Oh, here we go. Hey, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Booting. How's it going? Who are you looking at? Something wrong with my appearance? Leader of the Liberation Army. I'm just passing through this land. Not that I have a particular destination. Um, maybe I'll find a clue here. What? Oh, nothing. Just talk to myself. Okay, I'll give you a hand. Clive joins! Now, if you'll remember, like, 12 million streams ago, there was a grave back in... Grady's town that mentioned, I'm sorry I couldn't die by your hands, Clive. Now. That was a long time ago, so I don't blame you if you don't remember that. But... You're probably wondering what that means. Well, we're not gonna find that out. <laughs> um... It'll be... Let's just say... Maybe we'll find out what that means... In another adventure. So, we need to go back to Necklord's castle. And go to the top. That's right. All the way back to the top. All the way back to the top. Thank God for the champion rune. And bring it escape talisman. Well, actually, it still doesn't work here. Oh, hey, look. Some you can actually fight. back in the back. So 
So it's a bit of a climb, isn't it? So, chat, how you doing? <laughs> Having fun? Have a good week so far? Up to anything exciting? More exciting than this? That's not a high bar to clear, I, I admit. <laughs> That's good, dude, okay? Well, I'm more so talking about the fact that we're just climbing through this dungeon and nothing's happening. <laughs> oh wait, they have a United Attack. Warriors Attack! Let's do that, show that off. Oh, never mind, because they'll kill them all before they do anything. Yeah, we'll have a chance later, I suppose. Okay. Nice crits. <laughs> Three crits in a row. Here we go! The warriors attack! We can even see how much it did. Got cut off, eh? Well, probably did enough. Oh, we got a, got a glimpse of him over there. Got a glimpse of the dude. I pursued Necklor, that one into Uber. In any case, I never thought that anyone could defeat Necklor. Come with us? Liberation Army, so you're defying the Imperials. Mm, Alright, I understand that he's now part of the Imperial Army. Pesmerga joins! Oh boy, seems to have some sort of uh, rivalry or something with um, Uber. Can't wait to see how that resolves. That guy looks powerful. Uh, yeah, he is. <laughs> now to go all the way back.
So that should be 92 people, I think. That's quite a lot. Almost at the big one. Oh, oh. The triple digits. Okay, one more for the world, I see. Okay, outside again. Do -do 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 Blinking mirror. Actually. Should buy an escape talisman. So nice of them to place them right next to all the shops. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, it might be only in like... I might be thinking of something different. How oh, the hell with it. Vicky's like... Vicky shows up in every game. In some games... Um... She can screw up. I think she can screw up in two, I don't know about one though. Vicky's like one of the only characters that shows up in like every game. I think she does anyway. I don't know if she shows up in... Actually, does she show up in every game? I know she shows up in most of them. Yeah, every game. We can just, uh, get that pot of praise on our way back after we get the final recruit, for now. Back to Kulon. <laughs> yeah. Neck Lord. <laughs> exactly! Wheelie into necklaces and ties. <laughs> That's his thing. Hello, oh, and welcome to the stream. I went the wrong way. Okay. Yeah, we thankfully already dealt with him. Oh, go away. Um, no, that's the wrong one. Okay, let's... I appreciated the pun. See somewhere around here. Okay. If I can remember exactly where he is, I think it's somewhere around here. Yeah, I remember. All right, buddy, join me. Oh ho! You found me. I didn't think anyone would come here. 
Recruit me? Hmm, it might be nice to enjoy a little sunshine after all this time. Crowley joins! Let's get out of here. Who had Odessa on their sword? That's Flick, of course. You can even see it right here. That's not it. There we go. Lennon Comp Sewer Soldier number four, of course. Perhaps the old man can still leave you some use. Okay. Let's go up all the way to the top. I always mix them up. Alright, how's it going? Welcome back, Master Tyr. It's good to see that you're well. It was a major accomplishment to liberate the Loimar region without the use of troops. According to Kasumi, Kasim Hazael has been placed in charge of northern defenses and is presently building up his forces. The Imperial Army's forces are nearly 8,000 strong under Kasim Hazael. Another 6,000 soldiers in the floating fortress of Shazar Zaid. And 10,000 troops in and around Imperial headquarters. With what we've got, Kasim Hazael's army is all we can handle. The only way we can win is to unite the rebel forces around the country. I happen to pay an old friend of Joshua, commander of the Knights of the Dragon's Den, whose domain is in the west. If you plan to befriend them, I'll come with you. The Dragon Knights have always rejected Imperial jurisdiction, preferring to maintain a neutral status. Should they join us, our forces will be formidable. But I must warn you that Joshua is a pow proud man. The only chance of an alliance is for you, Commander Tyr, to visit him in person. Tyr, if you're going, so am I. Alright, let's go meet these dragon knights. Hold on. Mm. Yeah, sure. Alright. The dragon knight's domain is, lies northwest of liberated Ante, formerly known as the Bière Blanche. Flick joins party, and Humphrey joins. So those two are required. And we can bring whoever else we want. Yeah, we didn't hear anything about dragons for like since like the beginning of the game. Back when you were still in Gregmist, I believe. Alright, who else are we using in our party? Um I can just bring whoever I want again. Maybe some long ranges. I should Uh how about Give it Clive. Forty-eight, that's pretty good. Uh, let's bring Chris America. And last but not least will be Where is she? I must be blind. Level let's call again. Level fifty. Very good. Tough old man, isn't he? Okay, I'm actually blind. Where is she? Maybe have a look at the portraits. That'll be better. Can you not have her in this point in your party at this point? That's that would be weird. I don't see her anywhere. I was gonna put Kasumi in, but uh I don't see her. Maybe she's not available at the moment. Kind of weird. Well whatever, if we can't put her in, let's uh I don't know.
<laughs> no, it's been a while since we used Meg. Why don't we bring her along? No, I just mentioned her before. I can check again, see if... Alright, I'll check the stone. I don't think she's actually dead. There was no way. She might just be unavailable to put in your party at the moment. blind where is she <laughs> dude I am so blind maybe I should like go a little slower that would help I know she was alive just a few seconds ago cuz there's no way she's dead I know a recruiter that she should be alive. Hang on a second, just one second. Okay, I'm going to, just in case, go, go to an old save before we did a w war battle. I mean, after we did all the war battles. Yeah, okay, she's here. Okay, we just can't put her in a party right now, and it's, it's really weird. Sweden is really weird because when they're not, like, you, when they're not, you can't put them in a party, they just get moved off the stone. That is so weird. Yeah. Okay, we just can't put her in a party at the moment. So we got Humphrey, Flick, Puss Mega, Clive, Tyr, and Meg. What a party. Anyway, though, before we, uh, actually progress with the plot, there's one other person we gotta recruit. This character is kind of a pain, because he's in a very obscure location, and you have a very, very tight window to recruit him. Well, I guess Kasumi is a ninja. It would make sense that she just disappear on us. Yeah, this recruitment sucks, mostly because like this probably will just destroy a lot of blind playthroughs. Leon Silverberg, my, how the Liberation Army's grown! Please tell Matthew how impressive it's become. This is a very, very strict timeline because... Because at a certain... Because you need to talk to Matthew and he'll give you something that you can use to recruit him. But you only have a very limited time to do it. 
and if you don't do it soon enough, then you'll miss your chance to recruit him. He's like one of the few characters actually missable. So you probably want to do it as soon as you can, of course, the thing is, right? You might not even know this dude's here. If you did, you already encountered him, you might just... Um, forget that he's even here. Basically, no, it's fine. This is like the very first chance you can actually recruit him. This is as early as you can. Basically, I think you need to recruit him before the next war battle. I think that's it. Matthew, where the hell are you? Oh, wait, right, he's gonna be in this room with Apple, right? Leon? He said his name was Leon Silverberg? I have a letter here. Will you deliver it to him? Received Matthew's letter. There's another recruitment that's like really funny because you have a really limited way though to do it. And it's because of a really stupid reason. But we'll get to that when we do. We get to that when we get to that. Um, they mentioned Kasumi, but that was it. Not only a cutscene with her, but they did mention her. So, like, I, that was probably it. Not there. It's okay, I'll use Kasumi when she's next available. Go away, Demon Hound. What level is, um, your equipment? Oh my god, it's only level 7? Really? Clive is level 13. Prismaga, what are you doing, man? I should have upgraded his stuff. Well, it's fine. We're going back to base anyway. And, okay. A letter from Matthew. Matthew's love it. To think that he would want me to help. I'll do anything to win this war, even if it means asking you for your help. Oh, he actually came with us. Matthew, you don't trust me, yet you ask me for help. You're right, I don't trust you. Even now I suspect you, but I do trust your power. Please give it to us, please. You, bowing to me. Very well then, but I never thought we'd fight together again. Leon Silverberg joins. If you don't go back by the, via the boat, I see. Weird glitchiness. In that case, I have an idea. I have a dumb idea. First of all, Maybe if we, like, exit and then go back in, <laughs> she'll be available again. That would be really stupid if that works. I wanted to upgrade Puss Mega's equipment anyway. He's level 7, so it shouldn't take that long to bring him more up to par. Say I'm low. Can I just look at them, please? I love it takes like a minute to be like, wait a second, you don't have all the party members. <laughs> yeah, okay, she's still gone. <laughs> 
She's just dipped off doing ninja stuff. Well, whatever. I know she ain't dead. So that's good enough for me. Death Crimson, what a lovely name that is. Oh, so close. Well, that'll have to do for now, Pessmurga. Keep only calling him Pes something else. Pes Mega or something. Pes Mega is his name. I think. I don't know. <laughs> it's Kurdish. I believe. Anti. To the dragon's den. It's where we can find the. It's where we can get an awesome pet dragon that knows uh, a special move called extreme speed. Very handy. statue. Hi! Beyond this point is the domain of the Knights of the Dragon's Den, as designated by the Emperor. No one is permitted to enter. I am Humphrey Mintz, former captain of the Imperial Army's 100-man battalion. Oh my god, he can talk more than three words at a time. I request a meeting with Commander Joshua of the Knights of the Dragon's Den. I have orders from the Commander of the Dragon's Knights to let no one in, not even the Emperor himself. Not even the Emperor. Those are very strict orders. Now be on your way. What do you think, Ter? I think something's happened. Let's see if we can gather some information. The nearest town is Ante, to the southeast. Okay, we're going all the way back there. Oh, you are going to get absolutely destroyed. Wait, Humphrey's still like level 23. Goodbye. I don't want to deal with you. Um, hello. Trying to eat in one, eh? You scoundrel. Vincent de Boule. No, no, no. You are mistaken. Your lack of trust is so typical of peasant stock. What I'm trying to tell you is that you have the honor of being owed money by me for a little while. Think about it. I, Vincent de Boule, a pure aristocratic extraction, will owe you money. You should be happy. Don't give me that cock and bull. If you're the aristocrat, why can't you afford breakfast? Ah, that is indeed a painful question. You see, if I had some money, I would be glad to pay you as much as you like. But unfortunately, I just gave it all away to some poor, starving children. Liar, you're no aristocrat. What's going on? Shut up. Oh, why is the leader of the Liberation Army, Master Tyr? Tyr, are you not Tyr McDowell, son of General Theo McDowell? Permit me to introduce myself. I am Lord Vincent de Boyle, a present vacationing in these parts. Sure, I'll bet. 
Oh, even you think I'm untrustworthy. What a sad world we live in. Nobody trusts anybody anymore. I, Vincent, am deeply wounded. And now, to ease my pain, I wonder if you'd be so kind as to pay this man for me. I am presently on my way to meet Joshua of the Knights of the Dragon's Den. As I am in a hurry, if you'll excuse me. What the hell was all that? Did he say he was going to the Dragon Knight's Domain? Excuse me. I wonder who's going to pay for this meal. What? Lost 200 bits. <laughs> Thank you. That was all? That Swindler did say he was going to the Domain of Dragon Knights. Well, guess we gotta go after him. So the Dragon's Den is a dungeon, but it's like a really easy dungeon. It's pretty in linear, but it's mostly just a couple of chests. But there's a very interesting drop that one enemy has. One of the enemies drops the window setting three. So I'm gonna have to go in for that. Thankfully, it's not a very weird drop. You are very persistent. I can't let you in. What a thing to say. I'm telling you who I am for your sake. Vincent here is a dear friend of Joshua's. If Joshua finds out you turned Vincent away, he'll be furious. You're new here, aren't you? That's still time to do the right thing. I have been in this post for five years. Oh, I see. The last thing I was here... The last time I was here was a little over five years ago. Tell any more lies and you'll be sorry. <laughs> He's at it again. Why, if it isn't my dearest friend, Commander Tyr, have you business with the Dragon Knights too? Well, you're wasting your time. You'll never get past this hard head here. But we must see Joshua. You look familiar. Why, it's Humphrey, one of the most renowned captains of the Imperial Army's 100-man battalion. You're in the Liberation Army too? Commander Tyr, dearest friend, I have something good to tell you. Please follow me. Ah, nostalgia. I would come to the Dragon Knight's domain to play when I was a child, so I know the area well. You can enter domain from behind this rock. I played in this spot often as a child. This is a way in? Indeed, you're quite bright for a commoner. <laughs> Listen up, aristocratic scum. If this is an entrance, why don't you use it yourself? That is a foolish question. A man of my birth would never sneak in like a common burglar. That's quite enough, gentlemen. Oh, Tim, my dearest friend, you believe me, don't you? Good, good. I wouldn't know what to do if even you distrusted me. Well, be very careful then. It's quite dangerous inside. No, 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 don't depend on me. This is a kind this is a kind of friendship too. It's okay behind the rock. Enter? I guess so. Okay. Also, there's an enemy here that, like, drops the best shield in the game. But you'll be able to buy that later. Also, none of these guys right here actually drop the item we want, so... Also, um, as you'll see in a moment... Clive just has a gun. Oh, right, Meg's dead because <laughs> she's underleveled a bit. Oh my god, Humphrey's gonna die too. No, the magic shield does drop it. I was talking more about the window setting. Godlet. Well, that's mostly because these two are really underleveled. <laughs> Why the hell did I bring these people over again? It's okay, if we can just get them through a battle or two, they'll gain like 20 levels. And it'll be fine. Especially when there's not a million enemies. There we go, Sunshine King. That's the dude who will get us 
the window setting. Thank you, Flick. Oh my god, stop doing that. Oh my god, why does every enemy here have a multi-target move? Also, Clive is dead. That's it. Everybody dies. See, look at that. Three levels. Oh, wait, I got only three levels. Four levels? What the hell, Humphrey? Why did you only get three? You're lower level than Meg. Whatever, man. I should have brought a healer, huh? Oh my god, everyone's almost dead. Oh, very nice, Puss Mega. You're so cool starting off with 666 HP. Very cool. <laughs> Old Book, Volume 5. All right, you know what? Everyone dies. We'll just do this a couple of times until every the the weaklings are up to par. Actually, it should have just gotten better, but, I'm, eh? but that would have cost money. Thirty-one. Thirty-nine. They're catching up a little bit. Sort of. Power gloves. That's pretty good. Put down a Puss Mega. Wow, Puss Mega has 215 defense. That's pretty good. Really? Fine. Maybe you'll drop the Earth Shield? I doubt it. Yeah, if I don't get the window setting, I'll just grind for it off stream. No big deal. Hey, the cave is widened. Where are we? Cave looks like I'm grinding for it off stream. What's the matter? Look below. Below? Whoa! What are you doing here? Who are you? By the brazen for thieves, aren't you? We're. Tear! Oh, hey! It's a familiar face! It's Futch! You too, aren't you? Don't you remember me? It's Futch! I'm the one who took you to the Magician's Island on Black's back! What are you doing here? Tear? Then you're the Liberation Army's leader? Why are the dragons sleeping? Are they always like this? <laughs> what business does the Liberation Army have in our domain? Aren't you going to answer my question? I am Humphrey Mintz, former captain of the Imperial Army's 100-man battalion. I would like to see Commander Joshua. Alright, now that you've seen what's happened here, I must report to Sword Joshua. Thank you, uh... I'm Mi Milia, Deputy Commander of the Dragon Knights. Thank you, Lady Milia. Please lead us. When you emerge from this cave, you'll see the Palace of the Dragon Knights. I'll run on the head of you and inform Sir Joshua of your arrival. Let's go, Futch. Oh, what's over here? Ah, uh, it's just like... I guess that's just the way back up. Stop doing that!
just keep going through the cave. Yeah, they're pretty weak, thankfully. They can occasionally block a physical attack, but... Yeah, they're pretty weak. And then that won't drop anything that we need. Just regular ivy, huh? And we made it to the Dragon Knight's Fortress. Our dragons, too. If they won't wake up, we may never fly again. I wonder what's wrong with Futch. He's been a bit morose since the time he stood guard. What are you doing here? So you found me. Yeah, it's... You kind of stick out with your bright red... Uh, clothes, dude. You must have remarkable powers of vision to find me. When I can obliterate my very presence and become a shadow. Uh-huh, yeah, okay, let's go with that. You must be... Ah, leader of the Liberation Army, I see. My name is Fuma, follower of the Ninja Way. Uh, clearly. Please let me join you as a member of the Liberation Army. Here's our third ninja. Honored, sir. Fuma joins. It'll be 94, I believe. On our Master Joshua's arm is the Dragon Wound, one of the 27 true wounds. That's why he never grows old. It is also his curse. That would explain why Ted was able to live for 300 years. Oh, I didn't mean to go here so soon. So Joshua, these are the men I was telling you about. Humphrey, it's you, is it? Been a long time. Yes. Well, that's fine. We can explore this place a bit more later. I was so worried about you. After that incident at Calica, you vanished without a trace. I had my reasons. Joshua, this is Commander Tyr of the Liberation Army. So you're Commander Tyr. I'm Joshua, Commander of the Knights of the Dragon's Den. I have heard a great deal about the Liberation Army. I have come to discuss an important matter with you. Important matter? What is it? Please let me fly on a dragon. We need your help. Help your army. It is true that many of us have been dissatisfied with the present emperor. Is there a problem? Something to do with their sleep, perhaps? So you've seen them. I tried to keep it a secret by barring the gates, but... A few months ago, the dragons fell asleep and have not awakened since. We tried everything we could think of, but to no avail. Never awakened. At the moment, the Knights of the Dragon's Den are completely powerless. We brought many doctors here, but not one who was able to cure them. I sent a man to look for Leo Khan, whom people call the Holy Doctor, but he has apparently disappeared. So you think that Leo Khan can cure the dragons? He's the finest doctor in the land. He can probably find a cure. Tyr, this is our chance. He'll end up owing us a favor. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. Never mind. That's convenient, eh? To cure the sleepy dragons, we need to help the great Dr. Leo Khan. Damn, I didn't think things would turn out this way. Window setting to acquired. Good, good. Also, if we look at this bookcase behind Mila, old book volume 4 acquired. Some of the hidden bookcases were just very sneaky. Alright, so let's talk to people around here. We the Knights of the Dragon's Den have always dealt with Imperials as equals, and vice versa. But recently their attitude towards us... Soldiers of the Nation Army, you must all be tired. Would you like to rest? Sure. Rest and save.
can talk to this guy. Kurtz, you... You're Humphrey, aren't you? Commanded the Hundred Man Corps in those days. What's going on? Back then you fought for Barbarossa against my master, Emperor Gale. And now you turn against Barbarossa? Wishy-washy, aren't we? In those days, I believed in Emperor Barbarossa. Then why are you now in the Liberation Army? A change of heart? I haven't changed. The one who changed is... Kruitz, I have a request. A request for me, a former foe? Our forces are still vastly inferior to the Imperial Army. We need all the support we can muster. You are Gale Wunga's greatest general. You can be a great help. Please join us. My only master is Gale Wunger. Wunger. But if this is an opportunity to kill Barbarossa, the killer of my master, then it's an appealing thought. Alright, I'm with you, Master Tear. And Kurtz joins! Mix 95, I believe. Can we use the... Like, oh wait, no, we can go to the world map as soon as we exit this place. I kinda wanna go to the dragon's death though. Let's see if I can get that drop. No, no, I'll just do it off stream. Do it off stream. Cause I don't wanna sit here for an hour, trying to get these stupid... Shining Man or whatever the hell they're called. Called. Okay. So what we gotta do, head to the fourth floor. Sorry, Meg. At least we got you a little bit of levels. He's cool, he's a little 40 and whatever. Sumi still appears to be MIA. <laughs> Whatever. I'm sure it's fine. We got big Leo Khan into our party. Okay. I guess she won't be available for a little while longer. Oh well. Matthew did mention that she was like getting intel or something, so that might be it. Get this intel. You are Master Liu Khan. I had no idea you were a member of the Liberation Army. Please, sir, will you take a look at our dragons? Of course. Back in the dragon's den. How are they, Master Liu Khan? This isn't a disease. They have been poisoned with sleeping poison. Not a disease. No, somebody gave them poison. I had a feeling somebody sneaked into our domain. Is there a cure? I can prepare an antidote, but I will need certain ingredients. Moonlight weed, black dragon orchid, and... What is the other ingredient? We'll leave it till later. First get those two. Commander Tyr, there should be some moonlight weed in Seek Valley. Seek Valley. So Joshua, the only dragons awake are Futch's Black and my own Thrash. I will take Tyr and his men to Seek Valley on Thrash. Good luck, Mila. Commander Tyr, let's hurry to Seek Valley. I guess I'll wait here for the ingredients. Commander Tyr, Thrash is out front. Yukon leaves, but Mila joins. Mix 96. She's level 51. She only has a level 5 sword, though. It's not like we have money to work. 
Upgrade it. I knew it. That time. Please come out the tier. Oh, one more time, these guys. Level 51. Good on ya. She's stronger than we are. Now back to the Dragon Knight's Fortress. You know, my, you, you know, if you actually have money, unlike me, you, um might want to consider upgrading a weapon at your home base. I mean, like, level 9's fine, but like, no. Could be better. Let's tier, let's fly, let's seek value on my thrash. Another elephant! Hey, we're flying on a dragon! I think it's that one dot that's really isolated. This is Seek Valley. I don't see anything that looks like moonlight weed. We must go deeper in the valley? Okay. Go forward and get a master robe. That I should probably have actually put in tears every door. Thirty-seven H defense and another recover HP. Let's see. Put that into my inventory. Nobody really wants it, huh? I don't think anyone in our party can equip it. That's a shame. Wyvern! Oh my goodness. It's one fat wyvern. Not too resilient though, thankfully. Okay. Blockbuster! Nice dodge, Pesmag. Pesmurger. If we go this way, we'll find a hut. Who are you people? What do you want? You got no business with me? Go away. I come with this? Join the Liberation Army? Mm, I can't trust you. If you bring my disciples, Moss, Meese, Moose, and Moes here, I'll consider your proposition. We are bringing all four of the blacksmiths here. We gotta wait for a time where we don't have any party members that are forced to come with us. This is another guy that's missable because at the end game you are forced to bring two certain people with you, which means you do not have enough slots to bring all four blacksmiths with you and recruit them. So uh, make sure you recruit them before end game. <laughs> Go 
here. Another sound setting. Blockbuster and Queen Ant. Oh my goodness, look at that. He's hell. I'm pretty sure the next time we have a free moment we can just get him. But you know, we still have story stuff to do first. Oh hey look, it's the enemy we found at the, the beginning of the game. Thankfully we can just instant kill it like Ted did way back when. Really shows how far we've come. And how many people that have died, you know, to give us this power. But you know, aside from that. This one's for you, Ted. We can nuke her just like he did. Yeah. Go here and get Mega Medicine. I just remember we don't have a healer. Well, it's fine. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, hi. What the hell? <laughs> Crystal Core! This boss is easy. He resists fire, lightning, and wind, but he takes. but he's weak against water and earth. Why do you have to resist lightning, bro? We don't have a healer, but I'm sure it'll be fine because this boss is not, not nearly as hard as Necklord. Especially when we get 12 million crits in a turn. And only attacks plus Mega. Pass Mega. Sorry. <laughs> Keep on only calling that. Also, he's losing more and more of his crystals. The more we beat him up. By the way, once you get rid of all the crystals, so start using a t techniques that uh, target your whole party, but he shouldn't have that much HP left, so you can still finish him off pretty quickly. The core! It's always funny seeing everyone fight with a weapon and then just Clive comes in and shoots them. Yeah, this will hurt a bit. A flick's nearly dead. So is Pest Mega. Pest Mega. Hmm. 
No, Humphrey's nearly dead. Mega Medicine with Pess Murga. I'm out of Black Shadows. Hmm. Maybe it's only when his core exposes his real HP get revealed or something. Yeah, he's just gonna keep nuking us. Very fun. Bye, Clive. Bye, Mila. There we go. That <laughs> you guys couldn't have lived a little longer. Whatever. 52, 52, 51, 52. Okay. Seven thousand bits. Cyclone Crystal, that's an upgraded wind rune. And there you go. We should probably heal them up a little bit. Just in case. Thankfully, I've got heavy. A tankier units in the front. Gold necklace. No one in our party can equip it. Well, that sucks. Whatever. Go forward. And we find the moonlight weed. Could this be the moonlight weed? Probably. <laughs> What's moon? That's moonlight weed, all right. It's used as a restorative. Who's that? Come on out. Oh boy. I'm impressed that you made it this far, but I can't let you leave with the Moonlight Weed. Whoever you are, we had a rough time getting here. We're taking this stuff. Oh my, what an energetic young man. But I'm talking to Tyr right now, so please be quiet. Tyr, you must be getting tired of this Liberation Army game. You will give me the rune on your right hand, the Soul Eater. Oh, don't look so angry, Tyr. I won't force you to give it up. I have something more elegant in mind. Come on out, Ted. It's been a long time, Tyr. You sure were cool to leave me behind on my own. But I forgive you. We're old friends. Now, will you give me back the rune I lent you? I was able to live 300 years because of that rune, so I need it. Please give it back. Um, thin's fishy here. The the rune. Oh dear. Can you hear me? I don't have much time. A strange connection com remains between the rune and the one who carried it. That is, me. I'm speaking to you through the rune. My body has been taken over by Windy's Conqueror rune, and is no longer mine. The Conqueror rune will eventually take over my soul as well. That is why I must hurry. Tyr, you must promise to forgive me for what I am about to do. What was that? Ted, hurry up and take the soul ether! Please, Ter, give me back my wound, or else I'll take it by force. Ted, give it to him. Oh, so you plan to fight Ted? 
You kill your own father, send your servant Gremio to his death, and now you want to fight your best friend? How sinful you are. Soul Eater, I spent 300 years with you. I know all about you, the meaning of your curse, your evil intentions. On the day I lost my home, you stole the souls of everyone I knew in this world. During 300 years of wandering, you caused a great many wars and plundered countless souls, including Odessa's, and Tyr's father's, and Gremio's. You took them all! You steal the souls of those closest to your master and grow in powder. Ted, what are you talking about? Hurry up and get the Soul Eater! Having the Soul Eater near me is giving me power. Just enough power to move my own body. Now, Soul Eater, I command you as your former master. Take my soul now! Soul Eater is level 4. Good. That's good. Who needs a body that can't be controlled? I now return the 300 years of life that you gave me, Soul Eater. Damn it! Unbelievable! I'll have to... With our new power, I might be able to fend her off. Detestable creature! I'll take that wound from you someday! Don't look like that, dear. I chose my path. I think it's... farewell for sure. This time. Take care. Live your life to the fullest. For my sake, too. This must be Moonlight Weed. Everyone is waiting. Let's hurry and take some home. that, Soul Eater reaches its strongest power, the power of judgment, a multi-hit instant the judgment, incredibly powerful dark damage to everyone, it is really strong, but of course, as always, the power comes at a cost. Let's get out of here. Oh, by the way, these walkbusters could drop some of the best equipment in the game. They'll eventually find it in the chest somewhere, but if you want multiple copies of it, you're gonna have to kill these guys a lot. Let's show off judgment, shall we? Oh, it's actually just deals incredible damage to one enemy. Let's see just how much damage. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, come on. Don't do that. Oh, come on. Pessmerga, seriously? How'd you get blocked twice? Pessmerga. You know, I... <laughs> I'll get his name right when he actually starts performing. The thing with this dungeon is pretty short, so we just get the heck out of here quickly. Yeah. Ted's not exactly had a great life, when you think about it. Mm -hmm. 
But now we go back to the dragon's den, victorious! Yeah, it's not enough to die, your entire soul is erased and getting devoured by some... ...by some wound for power. Now then... Enter the forest... Fortress. We should probably rest and save. Fifty-two. You're back, Mila. Yes, Sir Joshua. This is the Moonlight Weed. Next, we need the Black Dragon Orchard. I'm ready to go anywhere in the world for it. But there's a problem. What is it? Futch went alone to Gregminster Palace to get it. The only place where one can obtain the Black Dragon Orchard is the Floating Garden in at Gregminster. Oh dear. I shouldn't have mentioned it in front of him. Uh, good luck, Futch. Guard. Okay, we're here, Black. I'll be right back. We actually get to control him for a bit. Damn, there's so many. I don't know which one is a Black Dragon Orchard. And this one looks more like the one that Lu Lucian described. You're right, that is a black dragon orchid. Oh boy, it's the man himself. Who is that? That is my question, young man. You must be aware that this is the Imperial Garden. You're the Emperor? I never thought I'd run into a flower thief in a sleepless night. Judging from your outfit, you must be a dragon knight. Yes, your highness. I'm Fletch, Dragon Knight 9th class. Apprentice, and what might you be doing here? Uh, I came to g get a black dragon orchard, your highness. Please let me go. I really need this orchard to wake up the other dragons. Dragons? It must be windy again. Young man, you must leave immediately. Y you'll let me go? Hurry, while I still, f while I still feel generous. Y yes, your highness. That went a lot better than expected. Whew. Was that really an emperor? Must have been. That sheer presence. But he sure was different from all the rumors. He let me go and... Oh well. Now that I have the Black Dragon Orchard, I better hurry home. White Black? That's right, Elf. No, oh, dear. Oh, I'm just in time. Who are you? I've already got the Black Dragon Orchard. Bye! Uh, he, he, this would be the twist. <laughs> what an uncouth boy. You should be punished. Gah! Fudge! Fudge! Are you alright, Fudge? Wake up, Fudge! Butch? Probably should be probably Futch, like Butch. I must bring back the Black Dragon Orchard. Ahem. Uh -huh. Appears you're awake. Huh? What? Where am I? Where's the orchard? Don't worry. When we found you unconscious in the forest, you had the Black Dragon Orchard in your hand. We had a hard time pr prying it loose. I see. Then the dragons... 
Yes, I made the antidote from the three ingredients and gave them to the dragons. They should be awakening soon. Thank God. Dr. Leo... Leo Khan, what was the third ingredient? The third ingredient? Is something the matter? I'll tell you. The third ingredient was a dragon's liver. And it came from... N not... My... Black. I'm afraid that when we found him, Black was already dead. Hate me if you want, but we had no choice. But... The black! Commander Tyr, Joshua's dragons have awakened. Let's go to Joshua's quarters and draw up an alliance pact between the Liberation Army and the Dragon Knights. He should agree to help us now. You're right, he hasn't committed to an alliance yet. Guess it couldn't have been that easy. Well, as tragic as everything has happened, why right now we need to focus on making that alliance. Commander Tyr, on behalf of the Dragon Knights, I thank you. Well then, Joshua. It looks like we'll be fighting together again, side by side, but against a different enemy this time. Commander Tyr, the Dragon Knights will join you to defeat the Empire. Joshua joins! That's 97? Yeah. Now I can finally return to Odessa Castle. I can't stand the smell of dragons. Humphrey, I have a quest. Quest. Come in, Futch. Futch. You know what this is about, Futch. Yes, sir. A dragon knight who has lost his dragon must leave the dragon's den. Now that you have lost Black, I cannot keep you here. I understand, sir. Black probably died to save my life. Futch, don't blame yourself. I'm all right. I just want to believe that Black saved me. Umbri, will you take Futch with you? I won't have to worry about him if he's with you. I understand. Thank you, sir. Commander Tur, when war breaks out, we'll rush to your aid. Master Tur, Master Le Khan wanted to return, so we were are about to fly him home on the dragon. Would you and the rest of your men like a ride too? Sure. Fine, we'll be waiting out front with Thrash. Futch, take care. Someday you may be able to return. Yes, sir. Hey, don't look so depressed. I'll teach you how to use a sword. And Futch joins our army, making 98. Please take good care of Futch. Man, he loses his best dragon and now he gets kicked out of his home. That kind of sucks. <laughs> A lot for him. Master Tear, if you're ready, I will fly you home on Thrash. We're gonna arrive home in style. Oh, hey, Kasumi, it's been a while. Oh, yeah, I think Quinn was gone, too, but I forgot about him. Quinn might have been gone, too. I just forgot him. Because I was so focused on why the hell Kasumi was gone, I forgot that Quinn wasn't here, too, I don't think. I think he might have been gone, too. I don't know. What are you talking about? Don't you trust my instincts? Your instincts? Don't make me laugh. Thanks to your instincts, we almost got captured by the Imperials, remember? <laughs> I wasn't quite myself that time. What's the problem here? I'm saying that I have a hunch. He's a spy for sure. That's why he won't talk. That doesn't necessarily mean he's a spy. What's going on here? Oh, uh, welcome back, Sir Flick, Master Tyr. <laughs> How ladylike you tried to be in front of Tyr. But for you, it's a lost cause. It Watch your mouth, you rat! Oh, boy. What the? Oh. Oh, 
let's go see what the heck's going on here. Wonder what those two was talking about her being all ladylike, hmm? Interesting. Anyway. You're back. Did you- was your meeting with the Dragon Knights a success? Uh-huh. Did you manage to secure an alliance? Don't worry, medical officer. It's just that Humphrey could be a little friendly to others. Medical officer, what? Uh-huh. By the way, who is this silent fellow here? Kasumi and Quinn captured him hanging around the castle. He refuses to say anything, so we were waiting for you to come back and decide what to do with him. Sir, Tur, are you Commander Tiro of the Liberation Army? Taggart. Thank goodness, now I can complete my mission for Master Warren. I kept silent because I was under strict orders not to speak to anyone until I met you face to face. Kasim Hazel, who took over the northern defenses after Tio McDowell, has recently begun to apply extreme pressure on rebel factions. He's looking for a comeback. My master Warren is a famous man of wealth in the north, long respected even by the Imperials. But as a man of honor and generosity, he harbored many fugitives in his mansion. As a result, his home was surrounded by Kasim Hazel and his troops. Master Warren and Sir Victor, who just happened to have dropped by, fought hard against the Imperials, but they were eventually captured and taken prisoner. This is what Master Warren told me to tell you. Oh yeah, we didn't have Victor for a while. Gonda too. Victor is one of our most powerful soldiers. Warren, despite his wealth, is an honorable man with a large following. We must go and rescue them. At present, Kasim Hassel's troops number more than 8,000. And they're a trained army, whereas we're just a ragtag bunch. Commander Tyr, despite its name, the Liberation Army is not yet a unified army. To continue fighting in the future, we need to give the troops some proper military training. I agree. We need as much as we can get. Let me make the necessary preparations. I suggest you retire now, Commander Tyr. You have a busy day ahead. By the way, Tagout joins your party at this rate, so that brings us up to 99. So, what we gotta do, Moe's, oh yeah, Futch is here, he's only level 19, <laughs> oh, poor Futch, Futch, he's only level 19, I guess it makes sense, he's only an apprentice. And it'll take like three seconds to train him up. You know what? That's been consuming me long. I promise I'd bring her along at some point. I'm sure she appreciates spending more time with Master Tear. And along all the blacksmiths. I really hope. It doesn't. I don't think I need an open slot, but I'm just gonna. And okay. Thankfully, with the power of teleportation, anything is possible. Including, um... Go back to the Dragon Knight's Fortress. Thankfully, Thrash is here, and we can just... He's just hanging out. So we can go to him, and I'll bring him back to Seek Valley. So yeah, you gotta make sure you recruit him during a time when you can have four free slots in your party. And you can't do that during the end game, so um, make sure you do this as soon as possible. Ideally now. Thankfully, it's a pretty short walk. Let's go here. 
talk to him. Master! Here you are. You disappeared without warning. Master Mace, we are now members of the Liberation Army. We have not forgotten what you taught us. That is why we chose the path we deemed correct. Master Mace, please give us your support. You've all grown up. I was planning to run away here alone, but perhaps I'll take on one more job. Master Two, I'm at your service. Mace joins! So Mace is able to upgrade everyone's equipment up to level 16, which is the maximum level you can bring equipment up to in this game. Now, funnily enough, since he needs to be out of your party to upgrade your equipment, it means that he can never upgrade his own weapon to level 16. So, like, he's the only character, so, like, it's kind of funny because he... <laughs> he's the only character who can't upgrade his own weapon to max level. It's kind of silly. Since they just... Blacksmiths apparently just can't work on their own weapons, I guess. Oh, by the way, all the blacksmiths have a United Attack called Blacksmith Attack. Let's see if we can pull this off. Otherwise... Yeah! Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. There you go. <laughs> I don't even know what level he is. I don't really use the blacksmith. So yeah, the blacksmith attack is the strongest unite attack in the game. But it comes with the drawback of you needing to use four of these people. Four of them. And you can't even do it in the end game. Because the end game, you have three of your spots locked, so you can't do the blacksmith attack in end game. So I gotta show that off now. It's also the only unite attack that requires more than three characters. So that's interesting, I suppose. And with Mace in our party, we now are up to 100 recruits. Ain't that something? Now then, <laughs> blinking mirror, go back. So we made a lot of progress right now. But it looks like the two Imperial, two remaining Imperial Generals, Kasim and Sonia, aren't gonna go down without a fight. You see, there he is. But with 100 of us strong, I think we might just stand a chance. But, we're going to have to be seeing the results of that battle next time. I think this would be a good time to end the stream. Maybe I could go for an hour longer, but nah, I think this is a fine place to end off. It's right before a major war battle. Oh, right! This is your very last chance to recruit Leon. Silverberg. So, um, you better recruit him here, because if you don't, he's, like, gone forever. <laughs> this, I believe. Um, so, yeah. Thank you all for coming. Next stream will be... <laughs> when will next stream be? Monday. It'll be Monday. That's good. Okay. I'll see you all 